was once a nationally prominent cosmetic surgeon with his own TV show, The Other Half. Things that go wrong don't go wrong that day. They generally go wrong two weeks after, a month after. But overnight, Dr. Jan Adams lost no everything. How did things go south so quickly? He's the physician who performed surgery on Kanye West's mom eight years ago. She died the next day. You're known as the doctor who killed Donda West. Now in this world exclusive, Dr. Adams is determined to rebuild his battered reputation by revealing what he says happened to Donda West. He's calling on Kanye to clear his name. Kanye West can end this by telling the truth. And what do you believe that truth is? The doctor had nothing to do with his mom's death. Donda's death in November 2007 was huge national news. Superstar Kanye West is mourning the death of his mother today. And Dr. Adams quickly found himself being blamed. Critics accused Adams of performing too many procedures on the 5 foot 2 inch, 188 pound former English professor. A tummy tuck, breast augmentation and liposuction, all on the same day. Donda West survived the surgery very well. She was at home. Did anything during that surgery go wrong? No. Were there any complications during the surgery? No. Was there anything prior to the operation that gave you pause about operating on this woman? No. Our surgery center was right here. His once thriving practice imploded because patients stopped coming. People who were signed up for surgery wanted their money back. People who had planned surgery, okay, canceled. The coroner was unable to determine the exact cause of death, but did not fault Adams. So what went wrong? Dr. Adams wants the world to know that he believes Donda made a terrible mistake when she put Kanye's cousin, Stephen Scoggins, in charge of her aftercare. Adams says he wanted Donda to recover from her surgery at a medical facility, but he claims she insisted that her nephew, a nurse with a PhD in public health, care for her at her home. Her nurse wasn't there. Her nurse was gone to a baby shower rather than taking care of his aunt. The coroner filed a complaint with the state nursing board saying Scoggins left Ms. West in the care of laypersons and she was left alone and unmonitored when she went into cardiac arrest. Dr. Adams says Donda West was left lying flat on her back, causing her to choke to death. This lady shouldn't be dead. All you had to do is sit her up. And every nurse on the planet knows that. Scoggins has denied all Adams' allegations that he's to blame for her death, and the nursing board dismissed the complaint against him. Dr. Adams is also revealing the existence of a secret letter, which he says he's showing for the first time. Dr. Donda West died as a result of cardiopulmonary failure. The letter was written by Dr. Adams himself just days after Donda's death, after he says he spoke to people who were inside the house. Her caregivers gave her, whoa, 20 Vicodin tabs in less than 20 hours. That, Dr. Adams believes, contributed to Donda choking. Now with the letter revealed, Adams says it's time to finally speak out. My point to Kanye is tell what he knows, point the finger at who the coroner pointed at, and the truth when you bury it just grows bigger. Oh